Uh, hi guys, I hope you are doing well. Welcome to my channel. In this clip, I want to talk about how we can uh, download a 3D model, especially OBJ format, from Google Drive and import to the Unity scene or Unity project, for now Unity project, at runtime. Okay, but uh, before we uh, start to talk about how we can download 3D model from Google Drive, First, I want to invite you to watch this video, Google Drive in Unity, uh, in the upload and download photo, uh, because uh, at the beginning of this clip, I explained how we can connect a Google Drive account to our project in Unity. So, without uh, doing these kind of settings and, uh, you know, identification, uh, you know, steps, it is impossible to connect with the Google Drive to the Unity project. So, uh, please watch this video and do the all steps about the uh, traditional keys or API keys or whatever uh, to connect the Google Drive to your project. Uh, I will share the link of this video in the description of this uh, video. Okay. Let's come back to our Unity project and here in Google Drive and past Google Drive scene, look at this, we don't have any 3D model and the, t the scene is empty. And here, look at this, in this file, in this project folder, we don't have any 3D model. But here, uh, the, the different uh, f uh, folder, we have F4S obj.obj and I already imported to my uh, uploaded to my Google Drive and here look at this f4s obj.obj what matter is it's supposed to be obj and it's downloaded as an obj file okay how we can download it let's go to the unity and open the visual studio here in the test script we have a uh, unity system collection and unity engine and google drive sdk at that video i explained about uh, how we can connect the google drive and how we can use the package of google drive and system.io and text here we have in the void update a function uh, to call by pressing button d obj files download and this iNuminator we have uh, the ver request google drive files download but inside this script we should add the id google drive id of that file let's come back to the google drive and i want to download this obj file right click and share here Let's make sure the uh, every, uh, anyone with the link can access to the file. And now copy link, and here I paste here. Between this slash and this guy, we have our object ID. Look at this. Between here and the last slash, this is our object ID. And copy here, and I paste at this part only this no format no other things only object id okay and here we will re send a request to the web uh, of the google drive whenever we get the request uh, response if it and uh, this one is false it means the download is successful if is error it is a boolean variable a uh, boolean and if it is true it means okay we will have a problem and here we will see the content of the, our response it doesn't matter but here we will uh, you know encode the text inside the downloaded content as we downloaded from the google drive and save into the application data pass and here the name of the object, uh, it can be test, it can be F4, it can be any name you want. And dot .obj, this is important. And here we will check if we don't have that object. Uh, okay, let's 
ignore it, if we already have an object with this name in this address, let's delete that object, okay? After that, we will make an object with the, that name and address, and here, inside that, uh, you know, uh, txt, that uh, array we have already converted. Okay, now let's save, and in the runtime, at the runtime of scene plays, uh, whenever we press D, we will call this function. Let's come back to the Unity editor, and now I want to play the scene. Please, my friend, be hurry. Oh, sorry, I think we have... Uh, my computer says I'm busy. Okay, I do respect for your busy time, but <laughs> I don't have time. Sorry. Come on. Okay, it may seems something happened. Right. Okay. Sorry for this delay. Okay, and now I press... Uh, I hit the play button, and now... Ignore this image, doesn't matter. It's related to that photo downloader. And now I press the key of my keyboard. And after a few seconds, I received false. It means the download has been successful. Now I refresh my project. Look at this. The miracle has happened. The 3D object is here. I downloaded this F4 object from Google Drive at runtime. And even it is still here. And the next time I can use this 3D object. It is stored at the application.data path. So I can use any time. Perfect. You can use this solution to uh, to download your staff or your assets from Google Drive easily at runtime. Honestly, I tested with OBJ. Maybe at the next time I want to test with 3DS or FBX. If you can, please do it quick. Uh, and if you could uh, get the successfully assets and 3D models by FBX or 3DS formats from Google Drive, Play and please share your experience as a cam comment of this video. All right, thanks for watching. Uh, don't hesitate to ask any question related to Unity, AR, VR, and XR. Subscribe my channel and like this video if you like it. Have a great time. Bye bye.